are talking spare parts. This one is directed by Andrew Thomas Hunt and stars Julian Richings, who you may have just seen in the movie Anything for Jackson. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you like a movie that makes sense? If the answer is yes, then go watch something else. Oh, but seriously, yes, go watch something else, because this movie doesn't make a lick of sense. But you may still find some type of entertainment here. So let me tell you about the plot. It focuses on this four-piece female punk band. And they, at the beginning of the movie, are doing a show. And that we can tell that they're somewhat can handle themselves. And they tend to get in a fight with various kind of bar patrons. So we know that these ladies are, are, are can tough cookies. Now, the four members comprise of two sisters and a lesbian couple. Now, they are travelling to their next gig and their car seems to be involved in an accident and they are seemingly helped by the local town sheriff into this kind of like large junkyard that is there so they can kind of fix their car. However, this is just a trap as they are now indoctrinated into a weird kind of cultish kind of community that, that really favours gladiatorial combat. Not only that, the girls are drugged and have their forearms removed so they can put weapons on the kind of the protruding bone that is sticking out of their forearm and attach various different kind of implements for gladiatorial combat matches. And then the movie goes through these kind of various different trials that these women have to take place, the relationships they have with each other, and maybe members of this kind of weird community. What will happen? You'll have to watch the movie to find out. Now, we'll come on to the no sense thing again in just a minute. But I do want to talk about the positives that you may enjoy from this movie. I think those of you who like violent, gory movies Maybe I'll find something to enjoy here because there is quite a lot of faces getting torn off, limbs being removed, decapitations, lots of kind of gory fun here. And it's a mix between mainly kind of practical effects, although there are uh, some obvious kind of like CGI blood enhancements here. But for the most part, the gore is done mostly practically and, and in with quite good um, manner, I would say. The, the gore effects do look do look quite kind of... Silly but fun, you know, for a kind of a low-budget kind of horror movie uh, type thing. The girls are all very sexy and they kind of obviously dress up in Mad Max kind of style uh, battle arena. And the movie treats it very much like a kind of uh, a gladiatorial Roman emperor sort of and their kind of gladiator style uh, combat arena here with... Um, the emperor of this town kind of commanding his fighters to fight to the death in bloody matches and things like this. Uh, so there's certainly a lot of action in this movie, lots of kind of fight scenes. The girls are all kind of like, you know, trying their best to kind of look sexy and bloody at the kind of the same time. So this movie is certainly B-movie schlock, uh, you know, and doesn't kind of really pretend to be anything kind of else. It has quite a fun soundtrack. I kind of quite like the kind of the soundtrack here. And some of the fights are somewhat well choreographed. But let's just go back. Do you want movies to make sense? Or do you just want to watch it for visceral fun? Because, to be honest with you, the latter is what you're going to get here. Uh, the movie doesn't make any type of sense whatsoever. But let me give you a few examples to enunciate that, essentially. So... Essentially, the, uh, the the girl's arms are kind of removed really from the forearm up. And all that you have is the kind of the, the bone that is protruding. And they're, they're kind of like these, um, almost like Ash style from Evil Dead 2, really, implements are kind of put on there. Now, there's no reason why this is the, the case. I don't understand. I mean, obviously, it's just to have some kind of like gory effects. But story-wise... There is actually no reason why they're having their arms kind of taken off. It doesn't make any sense in story. There's no real reason why these people can't fight with just weapons. Um, and that's it, you know, they, 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 there's kind of like, it's just done to have some gory effects. But in story, it doesn't make any sense. However, that's not the only thing. The, you know, we are led to believe these women have had most of their arm taken out with a bone protruding 
and then have attachments put on there and obviously uh, getting like hit across the arms with that kind of fighting with seemingly no pain. And they're able to adapt to this kind of like um, way of fighting straight away without any sort of ill effects from it. Like I've said, just silly. And to be honest with you, I think it's probably more effective if you are, rather than having, for example, an axe like one of them has literally coming out of your forearm, I mean, it really isn't particularly kind of, uh, you know, versatile in regards to kind of fighting. It would actually be legitimately easier to fight with something in your hand. Yeah, you might not drop the, the weapon, but you'll get certainly more flexibility from it. So it seems it's, it's done without any kind of real reason. It's never addressed, really. Uh, so that kind of bothered me in regards to why they're doing it. But it also, there's some other kind of dumb things. I mean... These women, it, this would have been better had it was set, had it been set in maybe the 80s when there wasn't mobile phones because mobile phones these days have GPS and no one comes looking for them, no one tries it, no one mentions it. Uh, we do have one of their kind of, the, one of the, uh, the boyfriends turn up and he kind of goes to the local town, asks the, the bar where they kind of uh, were the previous night and says, oh, you know, where, where's this band gone? And they were in some junkyard. The guy says, oh, that's a couple of miles up the road. Then we have this whole fight scene kind of in the evening with the girls fighting. And it's almost like hours later, this guy turns, maybe even a day later, this guy turns up at the junkyard. I think, where's he been all this time? There's just no attention to detail. Now, you could argue, it's just a fun, beamingly schlocky film. Who cares about logic and kind of like biology and physics and stuff like that and if that's the attitude that you have then you may well enjoy this movie probably more than me um now that's not to say that it can't be introduced for a silly kind of like cheesy fun but it, the movie is not really played for laughs to be honest i mean it is the whole concept is kind of silly and hokey and everyone's kind of chewing the scenery but they it's not really played to be a horror comedy as such, which is where I think it should have gone. Um, if it wanted such a kind of like hokey premise, um, everyone here is, there's, there's, there's many people, for example, very dramatic scenes between like the two sisters, for example, who don't really kind of get on. And then we're meant to believe that one of their sisters is kind of becoming indoctrinated into this kind of like this kind of cult mindset and things like this. With this super cheesy kind of like hokey uh, scenario that's kind of going on there. And it's just, I just don't think the tone is quite right for this movie. It should, if they wanted to have this story, it should have really lent into the kind of the cheesiness a little bit more and try to come across as, you know, a little less kind of um, trying to take itself as seriously as it thinks it does. I mean, there are other issues as well. For example, the final most... You can tell what's going to happen at the end. Let me just say that. But they're kind of like the the finale, so to speak, is they fight this group of champions. But the champions are, are given no kind of screen time before this. So they're just kind of faceless goons at the end of the day. They're not really ever presented as a challenge because we haven't seen them. That uh, We get one quick, quick scene of them before this. But because we because they're not established as characters... They're obviously just going to be faceless goons to be dispatched. There's no sense of, of danger or drama there. Now, a lot of, if you're going to enjoy this movie, it's going to depend on whether you is pure, can, you can switch off your brain. And I can understand there is, yeah, if you just sort of watch, like, attractive women fighting with kind of weapons, getting covered in blood, wearing skimpy outfits, that level of entertainment for you is there. And I think that there is some... Uh, entertainment to be had there, for, for example. But if you want a story with an actual plot uh, and things like that, then you may find this movie somewhat lacking. So it's good for, you know, this is a movie I would say is good to watch clips of. Um, the fight scenes are fun to watch the clips of the fight scenes. But if you want to watch it as a piece of narrative entertainment, then it really falls short because it's just so stupid. And, you know, I can see the, the, the criticisms I'll get for saying, oh, you know, it, clearly it's not meant to be taken seriously. And I do appreciate that. But if we want to invest in the characters of, the, of this, you know, of this universe that we're, that we're in, 
then we have to establish the tone if it's going to be taken as a comedy or not. And if it, this kind of isn't, um, then obviously we have to address some of the kind of like the the questions that maybe people would have. I, I would suggest uh, because it, it it doesn't. It kind of wants to have its. It wants to have. Um, you know, people kind of watch this movie. Ah, it's kind of silly, silly, schlocky entertainment, but still have, you know, still try and have elements of drama and uh, and horror, and we're meant to care for characters. It's, you just can't have it both ways, I don't think. Um, overall, as a film, I have to give this one a below average mark. There is some entertainment to be had in certain scenes. I will say that the gore is impressive. I like the kind of our female. Protagonists. I actually thought they were quite fun characters in a lot of way, but the, the, the film that they're, that they're in is subpar. Even Richings, who is normally quite watchable, is just super cheap, super cheesy and hammy here. And some of the other kind of the peripheral characters seem like they do not have a brain in regards to how stupid uh, their kind of level of intelligence is, and just like. I don't know. There's just there's just not enough going on here, you know, to really kind of to be able to have much in the way of of just any type of fun other than just some visceral fun at kind of the kills and stuff. And on that level, you may like it. I'm gonna give this one a four out of ten. Have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.